Good morning from the alligator farm where I'm doing a workshop uh, down here. We're shooting spoonbills and egrets and other kind of seabirds. Uh, we're having a great time. But I wanted to stop and take a moment to kind of give some tips about photographing birds in flight. Um, this is a huge thing. So many people during COVID figured out that they could go outside when they couldn't go inside anywhere else. And they did. And a lot of people discovered uh, bird photography, which is really cool. Um, and you can even do it during a pandemic, um, as long as you don't breathe on anybody, right? Um, so I've been out here at the alligator farm. We're down in St. Augustine, Florida. And um, basically what I've been doing is I've been making notes over the last two days as I'm shooting birds in flight. And I've kind of compiled these notes and I'm hoping that they're helpful for you. So the first thing is, um, and this might sound crazy, but you got to keep your head up, um, literally. Your horizon is kind of typically low we just naturally walk around and so when we walk our head kind of is down when we're shooting birds in flight we want to have an orientation like this where we can really see uh, the sky better um, so number one keep your head up number two no baseball caps the um, the extreme length of a ball cap is too long and it impedes your ability to see the sky so literally a uh, spoonbill might be right over you, but you don't see it until it's too late, and then it's maybe flying away from you, so it's like pointless to even bother. Um, so no ba baseball caps. These, I don't know what you call these hats. I call it a boonie, boonie hat, but these are great because if you want to flip and do a vertical, you can just smash it against your head, the camera, it's no big deal. Keep your finger on the shutter at all times, the shutter release, so you're constantly keeping the camera awake. Um, because what you want to be able to do is as soon as you see something in your peripheral vision you want to be able to raise the camera and not have to wait for it to be get awake in order to start shooting so that's a very important one if you have a zoom if you're using a zoom lens you kind of want to start at the shorter end of the spectrum um, not the telephoto one because your initial acquire of the bird in flight you need to find it as fast as possible and you're gonna have a better shot at doing that if you're wider than tighter um, so like on a 7200-2.8 with a 1.4, that's kind of my little tricky thing that I've been using. Um, I have found that if I, if I stay around 100, which is probably 120 millimeter or so, 130 millimeter, that works out really well. Another thing is you really don't want to have a strap around your neck. Um, when you're shooting birds in flight, it requires a lot of patience and it requires time. And you just have to give yourself a shot at being successful at, at doing this. And if you've got the camera around your neck the whole time, you're gonna get really fatigued and you're gonna be in pain. So it's much better to use like a separate type of, uh, you know, something like a black rapid or some other kind of strap that attaches a different way than around your neck. Shutter speed is so, so, so important. Uh, I cannot stress this enough. You have to have a high enough shutter speed to do two things, not just one. Number one, you have to stop the bird's motion in flight in order to see feathers and see the, all the detail. Um, it's just so, their, their plumage is so gorgeous. And if you are using a too slow a shutter speed, you're not gonna be able to capture that. Um, so I like to be like a minimum of like 4,000th of a second, but really 5,000 is my sort of go-to. If I can get higher than that, that's great, but I try not to go below 5,000 or 4,000. 4,000 is really my bottom. Um, and for longer lenses, like a 600, even higher. Um, so the second thing is that you're trying to stop is your own movement, okay? Even if you're on a tripod with a gimbal, you're still panning and moving and, and the lens is jerking around and you've got to have a high enough shutter speed to stop not just the bird in flight and that action, but the action that you are moving the camera around. So the combination of those two you just really want to err on the side of a very, very high shutter speed, which also means you're going to be shooting wide open. So that's another tip. You just always want to shoot wide open. You don't ever really want to close that lens down for any reason. Um, I mean, if you're shooting individual birds, that is. If you're shooting like two next to each other, maybe you'd close down, but then the background's going to get more in focus and it's going to fight with your, your uh, subject area. So. Here at the alligator farm, you can kind of see in a the distance, there's this like big long walkway and it's a very narrow kind of thing um, that you shoot through. And here, uh, the perfect lens, I think, is a 7200 with a 1.4. The 100 to 400 would be a great lens for shooting birds in flight here. Now, some places, especially like out west or if you're at the, at the dam out east, you know, there you gotta have a 600 F4 with a converter on it to even get anything. 
Here, they're right, literally, I felt the wind of the wings on my, on my neck as they fly over. So um, the alligator farm is a great place to get tons and tons of action. So after being here two days, uh, in the mornings and the evenings, um, this is the way to go, in my opinion, for at least the alligator farm. This is the, the new G Master 7200 2 version with the 1.4 attached. And this is just a fantastic uh, way to go. Uh, it's super sharp, it's super light. So the lighter it is, the more you can lift it without fatigue and being in pain. Um, so I really like that, that's my preference. Um, you can get things with a two to six, um, definitely, but it's so heavy, it gets just, it gets old after a while. The last thing is, my last tip for you is, you just really have to have patience. And you know, they will come and you'll get that shot you're looking for, but it may not be in the first 15 minutes that you show up. So uh, just have patience as you uh, are shooting birds in flight. Sony Artisan of Imagery saying thanks for watching.